What's up everybody, this is John G from becomeabeatmaker.com on the Wing Sound. And in this tutorial, I want to show you how to quantize using MIDI. So I got some drums loaded up here in my FPC. Just a kick, snare, and a hi-hat. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay down a pattern real quick. And then we're going to quantize that pattern. So here we go. Okay, and as you can see, the step sequencer are changed into this MIDI data here. All right, and what we want to do is go into our piano roll. You can bring that up by pushing this button right here. And even if you didn't have it selected, if you just click on that MIDI data, it'll bring it right on up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play this back, and let's see if it's lined up to the grid. Okay. So as you can hear, that's a little bit off, and we want our drums to be right on the grid. On the grid meaning it's lined up with these measures here, okay? And as you can see, you know, visually you can see they're not exactly lined up. So the way that we fix that is you want to hold down Alt, if you're on a PC, Alt, and Q, all right? Now Alt Q is going to bring up your piano roll quantizer. What we want to do here is we want to set a 16th note template. So right here where it says Groove Templates, we want to go ahead and click on that folder. And in doing so, that's going to bring up your quantization folder in FL Studio. And these are all the different groove templates that you can select. We want to find the 16th note or 16th tight template. Okay, so there it is, 16th tight. So I'm going to select that. Okay, so now the other thing that we need to do here, the quantize end time, we're going to select leave duration. All right, now your start time. If you look up here in this little window, when you scroll over this little button here, okay, it's going to give you a percentage. And that's going to tell you how tight you want that quantization to be. And for your drums, you want that to be at 100%. So I'm just going to left click and drag it all the way up. Okay. And as you can see, as I'm moving that up, you can see the MIDI notes moving around a little bit. All right. So we want that at 100%. And we're just going to click accept. Bam. So now if we play it back. Yeah, sounds a lot better. Okay, and you want to keep in mind that quantize isn't the fix all. No matter how accurately you play, you're still going to have to sometimes go into the notes manually and just move them around yourself. And also down here, these are your velocities. You want to make sure everything's at full velocity when you're messing with your drums. All right, so we got all that set. I'm just going to click out of here. And up here, this snap to grid, I usually keep this at quarter notes. And that lines everything up just right. But fairly simple. It's universal in all software. For the most part, you're going to quantize at 16th notes. Now, if you're, if you're quantizing strings or a bass or anything else other than drums, you know, you want to make sure that you're not always quantizing 100%. You want to have that human feel to the song. So you don't want to do everything right on the grid. Be selective. Let the music tell you what to do. And it's all good. All right, John Z signing off. Become a beatmaker.com. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.